only at the Indianapolis Zoo. Hi everyone, my name is Amy and I am one of the marine mammal trainers here at the Indianapolis Zoo. And today I'm joined by a few of my fellow animal care team members. We have Dustin and Kelly. And we are currently in our dolphin dome located in our main pool. So we are going to be doing a dome session today where some of our animals will be sent down to Dustin and Kelly to do some really fun enriching behaviors. So you can see Kelly right there, she is using a hand signal to communicate with Taz. He's one of our juvenile male Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. And when he does that behavior correctly, Kelly's going to blow her whistle. And that means you did a great job, Taz, and you can go on back and get lots of fish. So working with Dustin right now, we have Hemingway on the left-hand side and Calypso on the right. All of our dolphins here at the zoo have their very own stationing order, so that's very similar to an assigned seat like if you were at school. So they always know who is supposed to be on each side of them. So that way, no matter where we are at in the pool, when we sit up for the beginning of the session, they know exactly what order they are supposed to station in order for the session to begin. So right in front of us is Jet. He is our most dominant animal here at the Indianapolis Zoo. He was born right here at the zoo on 2202, so he's got a pretty easy birthday to remember, and he is very energetic. You can tell him apart because he's got lots of coloring all down the sides of his body. Right in front of Dustin, we've got China on the left-hand side and Taz on the right. China is pretty easy to tell apart because she does have a significant underbite, so that means her lower jaw sticks out a little bit farther than her upper jaw. And she has actually passed that down to both of her kids, Indy and Lauren. Working with Kelly right here is Calypso. She's one of our young females. She was born right here at the Indianapolis Zoo. She'll be five years old next month. And we can use different hand signals to ask them for certain behaviors. So we can do some with our hand signals, such as a yes or a no, but they also are trained to mimic our head motion or our body. So you can see Calypso showing off that yes and that no right there, copying her trainer, Kelly. And they are also trained to spin in a circle and copy us just like that as well. You can also see some bubbles coming right out of the top of her blowhole. That is where dolphins breathe from. It's also where they make all of their sounds from. So they only use their mouth for swallowing those delicious fish. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Indianapolis Zoo, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone.